Hey Girl Scouts, it's pop singer songwriter Christina Lachaga, the girl with the big pink heart. And I am so excited because we are here with our headline featured special guest of our USA Girl Scouts Overseas Cookie Rally. Oh my gosh. Girls, we have been hearing from so many amazing speakers, so many special guests, and we are honestly so ready to climb with courage this cookie season. But we have one more that's going to be so, so special. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. So I am here with Jordan Childs. I'm going to let her introduce herself in just a second, but we know that she's an elite gymnast. She competed at Tokyo 2020, the Olympic Games. She brought home a silver medal for Team USA, and we are so, honestly, so honored. So Jordan, tell us a little bit about yourself. I heard that you are also just starting UCL at UCLA. Oh my gosh, tell us everything. First off, I just want to say, what's up, Girl Scouts? I love Girl Scout cookies ever since I was younger. So having this opportunity is so amazing. I am just here to give you guys some encouraging words and can't wait to see you guys succeed and thrive in your guys' little journeys. Um, like you said, yes, I have started at UCLA. And honestly, it's been a crazy ride knowing that I've committed to this school since eighth grade year and, you know, finally being on campus and just enjoying the college life has been really, really fun. Um, but, you know, there's always some little perks up here and there. So I'm li literally living in an apartment by myself right now and just enjoying that college life. I love it so much. I love the team. Um, the atmosphere at UCLA has been really, really amazing. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. You have so much going on, on and off the beam. So it's been it's so exciting to hear about and congrats, we're so excited. Um, so you've accomplished so much already in your life. At just 10 years old, you qualified for Junior Olympic Nationals. In 2018, you traveled the world, representing the U.S. in Germany and Colombia. And then, of course, last year, 2020 turned 2021, Tokyo Olympics. Um, so you earned the silver medal. So what is your secret? These girls, are, they're like, how can we be like Jordan? Um, <laughs> what do you attribute your, your success to? And what advice do you have for Girl Scouts with equally ambitious goals and dreams? So I would say to all my Girl Scouts out there, just stay focused, stay determined. Your dreams are always big enough to be fulfilled. I go off of the quote of my own, always believe in the power of your dreams because you know you can never push too hard, but you don't wanna push as hard and like as you continue your dream. So you wanna go into it with your whole entire mind but also make sure you take care of yourself because that is very, very key. Mental health is something that is very, it's been talked about throughout this whole time period. So I would say just make sure you're doing things for yourself. Um, it was a crazy ride for me getting to this Olympic experience. Uh, but, you know, there's always ups and downs. Your road is never perfect and that is okay. Just always take those little bumps and Think of them as lessons that you learned and take the good out of all of them and just continue on, continue on that little road of yours and just always pursue something that you know you're going to love. And it's amazing to see where it's going to take you. So you never know. You never know what's around the corner for you. Yes. So yes. Keep going on your road. <laughs> yes. That. Just keep going. Um, so you've been pretty outspoken about how elite level gymnastics is not always fun. It's not always fun. So you're not you're now at University of California, Los Angeles College Gymnastics team, and you seem to be having an absolute blast. We've seen your Instagram posts. We're so excited. So what is the difference between the two experiences? Um, can you explain to Girl Scouts why is it important to have fun in what you love? The <laughs> the world we live in, there are always many different like things that are thrown at us, right? In my sport, it's a common thing to be heard that, oh, gymnastics isn't fun because I'm always, I'm always doing this, always doing that. And I found that gymnastics can be fun. And when I thought of it that way, I put my own twist to it. And I just went into my sport with a different mindset. Knowing that, yes, there might be days that are really, really hard. I took those days and was just like, 
let's just laugh about things that are like make jokes and just continue my day knowing that it's going to be a good day. And so, you know, having fun is something that I think a lot of people should enjoy in a sport that's very, very hard because you go through so much and it sucks that we go through so much. But, hey, there, it's a life. <laughs> life is hard in general. Um, so, you know, I would just. I, I would always say always have fun. The difference between college and elite is the mindset. When you go into college, you know, okay, I'm going into a college. You think of like parties and having fun and going to restaurants with friends and shopping and doing this and doing that. And in the elite world, it's like, yes, I can do all of this, but I have to be very, very cautious because I have practice the next morning. Who knows what's going to happen? I have to make sure I'm rested. And so that's kind of how the difference is. It's a little more strict in the elite world than it is with the college life. A little bit more structured. You're always kind of thinking about that next competition. Yes. Right time. All those, all those fun things, right? Yes. <laughs> oh that's, that's amazing. Um, and so I know that our Girl Scouts know a certain BFF of yours, Simone Biles, right? Ah. <laughs> so first of all, how cool is that being BFFs with her? Um, that's amazing. But most importantly, it was also Simone who stepped in and gave you a little bit of a pep talk when you thought about maybe leaving the sport. So when, and you went on to earn a silver medal. So we're all very thankful for that, right? Um, so why are having female friendships, like the one that you have with Simone, so important? And what words of wisdom can you give our Girl Scouts about having, um, about the importance of friendship and teamwork? Did you work with her too? So I never thought I would have a friend like Simone ever in my life. It was kind of crazy to even think that I'm best friends with a two-time Olympian role model, goat of the gymnastics world, and basically the whole entire world, if you really think about it. She's dominating every single piece in, in her sport and outside of her sport. So I would say when it comes to a friendship, you want to make sure you – you, you know that person very, very well in a different world. Like for me, I know Simone in a way that a lot of people don't. And I think it's good to know that because I can help her in certain situations that maybe someone else can't. And having that friendship helped. As you can tell, <laughs> we literally went to the Olympics together and um, we were both able to come back and do what we do, what we love. And it was just crazy to think about like Simone Biles basic is a big sister to Jordan Childs and I never in my mind was even thinking it of that way because it's like I see her every day I was able to train with her I was able like I think of her more as a sister than I do a best friend but in those times that we do kind of struggle, I, I do take that friendship role and just tell her like, hey, you're good. We have this, like, just keep going, stay focused. So friendships are really, really hard to find. But I would say when you know you found that right, that that little cherry on top of that Sunday, you, you found somebody that will always be with you and be basically your ride or die. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's like, the support system, the, the, the things you don't see on Instagram. It's, yes. it's that. That's what it's about. It's not. That's amazing. You yes. Know, what I think about when I think of that is uh, Girl Scouts, we're kind of like Girl Scout sisters. Mm -hmm. it, it's that same sisterhood. So mm -hmm. it's so exciting to see, especially in such a competitive world, that um, those those uh, that support system can be, can be found, and I really love honestly watching the gymnastics. Just to go off script from my inter from my questions, um, I think what's really cool is that gymnastics you see that, mm -hmm. um, and I feel like when I watch other sports, like I love figure skating and other things, I don't really see that as much. So you guys are literally cheering each other on and screaming from the sidelines. It's amazing. So. Um, I think our Girl Scouts, you got to scream from the sidelines for, for, for your other Girl Scout sisters. Yes, um, yes. I would 100% say that's very true. Very true. Um, so you face different challenges and obstacles so fearlessly. 
um, honestly, strong, confident, focused, empowered athlete and person. Um, so you seem to face them head on. So what advice do you have for girls, um, for Girl Scouts who may encounter similar obstacles because of their age or maybe during cookie season? Like what, if a girl needs to face it, a challenge head on, what is your advice? Keep pushing. Always keep your mind on the path that you know you want to succeed. No, don't let anybody tell you something different because you know who you are and don't basically impress yourself. Don't impress others. I like that. that you should be really do, like yes. That. That, really, that really, I was like, ooh, I like that. Um, <laughs> well, that's what I found. That's what I found in, my, in myself, in my own sport. Like I needed to be doing it. Like I needed to do it for myself and not for others because I would enjoy it more than going out there knowing that if I mess up, I'm messing up because I know what I did and not because the audience or whoever is going to make a comment on it. That's really empowering. I like that. Um, okay. We have one last question for you during our interview. So, oh, I can't believe we read the last question. So you've had so many amazing adventures, which is so on brand with this year's new Girl Scout cookie called Adventure Fold. We'll have to send you a box. Um, yeah. Ooh. Um, <laughs> so I have two questions. What has been your favorite adventure so far and what adventure is next on your horizons? Oh, so my favorite adventure would probably be the Tokyo Olympics. That was something, like I said, I've, I've always had that dream ever since I was little, but I think it was the journey that I had prior to it. And being at the Olympics was kind of like my reward. And then on top of that, winning a silver medal was like, <laughs> wow, this is an extra little piece to it. So that was, that was my favorite adventure. And I don't think I would change the world for anything that happened over there. Um, but besides that, my next adventure, um, I am obviously in school right now and we've done competition. So I will, hopefully our team will be going to NCAAs next, uh, this year, actually. Wow. It's crazy to say we're in 2022, but oh my God, this God. year, <laughs> mind blown <laughs> this year. Um, I'm hoping that our team makes it to NCAAs and we come back with an NCAA title. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I know, and I feel like our team can do that. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll be cheering you on. I'm, I'm cheering you on from here. <laughs> when, when this pandemic gets better, I'm going to fly out. We can see you guys compete. That'd be cool. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Your adventure full cookies coming with us um, yes <laughs> um thank you so so much uh and oh last question how was your gold over america tour fun that was so fun when i mean i had the best time ever i had the best time ever i whenever i got asked to do the gold over america tour i was all in because i don't know if anybody else did this but i thought i could be like a musician like an artist and so when I asked to go on tour, mm -hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm living like, so I used to go and watch the Fifth Harmony um, YouTube mm -hmm. videos that they would put out, like their, their vlogs. And I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so fun. Like I want to live on a tour bus and do this, do that. And so I had that. I was like, I'm literally living my Fifth Harmony days right now. And so I just had, I had an amazing time. Definitely inspired a lot of young girls out there and even adults. And it was a huge, huge um, woman empowerment that we were able to put on. So I'm, I was really excited that I was able to be a part of it. That's incredible. And we could just bring Fifth Harmony back to Sixth Harmony with Jordan. So there you go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Jordan, so, so much. And before you go, Girl Scouts, get out your worksheets so we can all write down Jordan's letter. So Jordan's going to reveal a special letter for us. Here we go. Get that worksheet out. So, <gasps> hmm. What's our okay, life? Girl Scouts, I wear this whenever I practice or I perform, and you want to write the first letter of this item down. Ooh, and that's one of her signature Leos. So yes, it's one of my word. signatures. <laughs> so first letter of that word. Awesome. 
Thank you so much. It's super cute. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for helping us climb with courage, Jordan. Yes, thank you. Ha, <laughs> ha,